guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher B and if this is your first time visiting, please do not forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified once a new video becomes available. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. I have a problem and probably some of you can relate with this. The number of apps on my dock is increasing and they are starting to look very cluttered. So the solution that I will do is to arrange the apps and stack them in a folder so that they will look organized. If you are in the same situation, this will save valuable time when you look for your frequently used apps. So let's get started. So let's go to Finder and then let's go to our user account and then let's create a folder and let's name this folder as Stacks and then create a folder inside Stacks folder and let's name it Applications. And then we are going to create several folders under Applications because we are going to organize the apps based on their developer. So for example, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, we are going to organize them in like Microsoft or Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Illustrator, we are going to organize them in Adobe folder. So we are going to create a new folder here and then we are going to name this as Microsoft and then I am going to right click and then select new folder and then I am going to make this Adobe and then let's create another folder and let's name this as Apple. So all the Apple software programs will be placed in this folder. Now let's go to applications, let's right click it and then select open a new tab and then I am going to click this and then drag it here. So I'm going to create two separate windows for the applications and the folders that we just created. We are not going to put the application in this folder because you might have a problem when you update it later. So what we are going to do is we are going to create aliases for these apps. So let's start with Adobe Acrobat DC. I am going to press Option and then Command and then I am going to drag it here. And then you will notice that there is a shortcut icon there. I am also going to create a shortcut for Adobe After Effects. I'm going to press Option and Command and then I'm going to drag it there. I'm also going to put Adobe Lightroom Classic. I'm going to press Option and then Command. So now let's go to the Apple folder. I am going to put Automator, which is one of my favorite apps in Mac. I'm going to hold Option and Command. And then I am going to put Final Cut Pro, Option and Command. I'm going to drag it there. And then for Microsoft, I'm going to put Microsoft Excel, Microsoft OneNote, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Microsoft Word. How are you going to put this Adobe folder on the dock? So all you just need to do is click this one and then drag it over there. And you will notice that it has been placed already. Now you can customize this by right clicking this one and then you can just click display as folder and you will see that it will be visible as folder and then when you click it it shows up all the applications that are inside that folder you can also customize the way it shows up so for example if you click list you are going to click this one and then it will show up as list or you can also view it as grid when i click this it will show up as grid or you can view it as fan which is the automatic setting then let's put the apple folder and then by default it shows up as a stack so if you would like to display it as folder just right click it and then select folder and you can change how you want to view it you can view it as fan grid list or automatic so again the automatic setting is fan and then we can just put microsoft and then we can display this as folder now there's a little bit concern though because if there is like three same folders here it's a little bit boring and sometimes you need to differentiate this folder so you can easily identify them when you look at them on the dock. So what we can do is we can customize this folder so that when we look at them on the dock, we will be able to identify them. So how are we going to do that? 
So let's go to icons8.com and this website provides a bunch of icons that you can use for a variety of reasons. You can use this to customize your folders, you can use these icons for your websites, you can use this for your graphic needs, etc. So the first thing that we are going to look for is the Adobe logo. So I'm going to use this one. I am going to drag this so that I can download later. The next icon that I am going to uh, search is the Microsoft logo. So I'm going to use this logo. I'm going to click this and I'm going to drag it here. And then the last logo that I am going to get is the Apple logo. So I'm going to use this one. I am going to click this one and then I'm going to drag it here. So now I have three logos that I can download. I am going to download this. I am going to click the download button and then I am going to select 100 pixels and then click download collection and then click download for free and then it will be saved as a zip file and then you can just like unzip it and then there is your icons that we are going to use. So. I am going to click this and drag it here outside so that you can see. Okay, so for Adobe, I am going to right click this and select get info. And then I am going to double click Adobe logo. And then I am going to select this. I'm going to select edit, copy, and then click here and then and make sure that this is selected and then edit and then paste. So you will notice that the logo here on our dock was changed, right? Now, let's change the Apple logo. Let's right click this, select get info, and then double click this one, and then select the logo of Apple, select edit, copy, and then select this, and then edit and then paste. And then you will notice again, the logo was changed. Let's go to Microsoft, let's right click and then get info and then select this one and then open. Select this, edit, copy and select this one and edit and then paste. So you will notice that the icons of our folders were changed, right? Depending on their developers. So that's how you are going to customize your folder icons. So what if we would like to put a folder for our frequently used documents or frequently used folders? So for example, you have a folder for your school files and you frequently open it, you frequently use it and you want to put it in the dock. We can just create a folder here under stacks and then let's just make it as documents. And then we can create another folder and then let's type school stuff. So assuming I am going to put my websites folder in the school stuff, I am going to click the websites folder. I'm going to press option command and then drag it there. And then there it is. Now we can put the school stuff folder on the dock and then we can also customize this. So for example, you are a big fan of Pikachu. You can go to icons.8 and then select Pikachu and then you can just click this one. You don't need to drag it here because once you drag it here, all the other icons will be downloaded. So just click here and then select download and then select custom and then click download and then download for free. Now it will be downloaded as a single file and like a while ago, it was downloaded as a zip file. So I'm going to click show in finder and then I am going to go back to school stuff folder. I'm going to right click this one, get info, and then I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to open this file, and then I'm going to highlight it, and then edit, and then copy, and then I will paste it here, and then it doesn't show up yet because it is displayed as a stack. I'm going to display it as folder. So now I have my Pikachu here, and now you know that this is some school stuff because that is the icon that you assigned for your school stuff. So I hope that you learned something today and take care everyone. Please do not forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified once a new video becomes available. Thank you for watching.